Today I'm going to be talking about a new project called PUG, which stands for Photorealistic Unreal Graphics. This is a research initiative by Meta Research Team that aims to create synthetic datasets using the Unreal Engine, a game engine that can produce realistic 3D graphics. The synthetic datasets can be used to train and evaluate machine learning models, especially in computer vision and natural language processing domains. What is PUG? PUG is a framework that leverages the Unreal Engine to create photorealistic and semantically controllable synthetic datasets. PUG can generate images with various attributes, such as lighting, camera angle, object pose, texture, color, and style. PUG can also generate captions and questions for each image using natural language generation techniques. Why do we need PUG? We need PUG because collecting and annotating real data can be very expensive, time-consuming, and sometimes impossible. For example, if you want to train a model to recognize animals in the wild, you would need to capture thousands of images of different animals in different environments and poses, and then label them with their names and attributes. That's a lot of work, right? And what if you want to train a model to understand natural language? You would need to collect and annotate millions of sentences with their meanings and structures. That's even more work. Synthetic data can solve these problems by generating data that are not real, but look and behave like real data. Synthetic data can have many advantages over real data, such as they can be generated on demand and in large quantities. They can be controlled and manipulated according to the desired specifications and scenarios. They can be labeled automatically and accurately. They can cover rare or unseen cases that real data may not capture. What are the datasets created by PUG? PUG has created three different datasets, PUG Animals, PUG ImageNet, and PUG Spar. Each dataset has a different theme and purpose, and they cover a wide range of tasks and domains. PUG Animals contains images of animals in different environments and poses, along with captions and questions. For example, a front right view of a medium-sized elephant in an opera house environment. PUG ImageNet contains images of objects from the ImageNet categories, along with captions and questions. For example, a bagel in a beach parking lot environment. PUG Spar contains images of scenes with multiple objects and relations, along with captions and questions. For example, a goldfish on the top of the picture. You can download these datasets from the website or the GitHub repository of the project. How does PUG evaluate the quality and usefulness of synthetic data? PUG evaluates the quality and usefulness of synthetic data using various metrics and human judgments. The metrics include FID score. This measures how similar the synthetic images are to real images. BLU score. This measures how similar the synthetic captions are to human written captions. QA accuracy. This measures how well the synthetic questions test the understanding of the synthetic images. The human judgments include realism rating. This measures how realistic the synthetic images look to human eyes. Diversity rating. This measures how diverse the synthetic images are in terms of attributes and scenarios. Relevance rating. This measures how relevant the synthetic captions and questions are to the synthetic images. The results show that PUG can produce high-quality and diverse synthetic data that are comparable or superior to existing methods. The results also show that PUG can control the semantic attributes of the synthetic data in a fine-grained manner. How does PUG compare with other methods of synthetic data generation? There are a number of other methods of synthetic data generation available, such as Midjourney and DAL-E 2.0. PUG is compared to these methods in the paper published by the project. The paper suggests that PUG is more realistic than Midjourney, but it is not as creative or expressive. PUG is also compared to DAL-E 2.0, which is another text-to-image generation model that uses deep learning techniques. The paper suggests that PUG is more diverse than DALL-E 2.0, but it is not as flexible or coherent. PUG is a very impressive project that creates synthetic datasets using the Unreal Engine. It has many applications in machine learning research, especially in computer vision and natural language processing domains. It is sure to be used for a variety of purposes in the years to come. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you found this video informative. 
If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos on technology and artificial intelligence.